Today, we have Chris Paul from Hercules Silver, and your investor talk today was fantastic. David Morgan, all of us were sitting on the edge of our seat because we're interested in what you're up to. How about you give the investor intel audience a bit of those uh, high points? Yeah, sounds sounds good, Tracy. It, it certainly has been a while, hasn't it, since we last talked. I think uh, I think it might have been early in the summer before we we really got going with the exploration. And uh, yeah, I can tell you, there's been a tremendous amount of things that have happened at the Hercules uh, since we last spoke. So, I mean, obviously, 2022 was was a pretty crappy market um, for the juniors and 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 for everyone. So you know what we said, we're just going to put our heads down. We've got lots of money in the bank, and we're just going to do good exploration. Um, you know, as as we've always kind of discussed, we've always felt that there's there's a big system present at the Hercules, and so we got out there, and you know, we did the work, we did the soils, we did the chip sampling, we did the geophysics, we did the mapping. And you know we put that all out to the market, and I think we've really proved that there is a huge system here. So um, you know we've got those drill results pending now. We're expecting those any day now, and uh, you know we're going to have our phase two drilling out pretty soon. Our, our phase two drill plan announced pretty soon. So uh, you know lots of lots of good stuff to come. Okay, so you were discussing the mineralization uh, results that just came out uh, in the last week. Do you want to talk about some of those highlights? Yeah, absolutely. So we kind of started with that, you know, start of the summer, start of the season, you know, we did the soil sampling, you know, we kind of expanded the land package, we did a bunch of regional work. And it turns out that that historical resource, which is, you know, which is a really great starting point, but it only represents maybe 3% of the total mineralized footprint that we're sitting on. And so, you know, as great as these soil samples are, we wanted to get out there, we wanted to get some actual rock in the bag. And so we basically sent our crews out. You know, we have all this modern data, thanks to the government, just flew a big LIDAR survey over the whole property. So, you know, when you're dealing with an area where there's very little oak crop exposure, so all the old timers, you know, they, they couldn't find this stuff because it wasn't, you know, sticking out of the ground, but we've got these modern tools and we basically use those modern tools like the LIDAR. We could map out where the, all these little hidden oak crops were. And we went to each one and we sampled them and the results came back. We put that out last week and they were tremendous. I mean, we've got, you know, copper in, in our copper target grading up to 21%. You know, we've got silver grading up to, you know, multi, multi kilo per ton grades. It's consistent. It's, it's over, you know, three and a half kilometers of, of strike length. And, uh, you know, we're seeing all these little high grade mineralized shoots all through it. So, uh, you know, obviously really pleased with the results. And uh, it's my understanding you're going to be at PDAC this year. You've got a booth. We will be at PDAC this year and, and, and we will have a booth. Obviously, we're, we're a new company. So, uh, you know, if we've just got all the, uh, the new materials on order, I'm going to be there. Uh, you know, going to have a few people alongside there with me. It's going to be fun. It's going to be exciting. And I think maybe uh, you and I are going to do an interview as well. Well, not only are you and I going to do an interview, but of course, we're going to have Chris Thompson uh, there who loves, absolutely loves silver. And I don't know if we should add this into our discussion, but did I hear you drop antimony as well in the list. We do, we do. Yeah, it, it, uh, there, there's a few critical elements kicking around. Not that silver itself isn't probably the most critical element, uh, at least in my biased opinion. Uh, you know, if you think of all the solar panels that everyone wants to build and the most critical component of the solar panel, of course, you get the copper uh, and you've got everything else. So I think, you know, we're in a good jurisdiction, place that wants critical metal, metals and uh, you know, maybe maybe I might even bring some of these high grade samples with antimony and copper and silver to the show. Maybe that's a good idea. Show off some of these rocks. Well, individuals that are attending PDAT love samples. So I would encourage you to do that. Chris, thank you so much for joining us today. And please join us more often. We're delighted to see you. Absolutely, Tracy. We need to do this more often for sure. Thanks again.